In the beginning, there wasn't very many hydro stores. The growers didn't have access to information, so it was a real, like, under the radar, I guess you would call it a hobby at the time. The lack of the proper machinery and the lack of someone who can produce it. And sometimes with our industry, it's one of those things, if you want the right thing, you gotta make it yourself. The first tumble, I try really hard not to beat up the material because it's leaf to keef, keef to rosin. Looking through the side of the machine, and as soon as you start to see the hairs and a lot of green, then you gotta cut it. I can look at it. If the heads are big and they're shiny, they're like diamonds, they'll reflect light. Even if it has these big green specks, if it's still shiny, then it'll press better than like something that's super blonde with no colored contaminant because the oil in the big heads is what we're going after. It's been a really integral part of my life, my, my entire life since like sixth grade. Back then it was like, you gotta take it into your own hands if you're doing it yourself and you can't go to a store and buy what you need. We make pneumatic heat presses that are designed around the process of extracting rosin. Most of the plant matter has been taken out of the active component of the plant. And so the smoke is a lot cleaner and a lot stronger. The overall focus of our system is just to make sure that the end product is the highest quality possible. Rosin compared to some of the other products as far as concentrates on the shelf, I would say has an advantage. One, because it's, it's a completely solventless technique. Two, because it, it gets a good snapshot as far as the terpene profile of the original genetics that it came from. The overall quality of the product has just gotten much better.